Hi viewers, uh, thanks for watching my other videos. Today I'm going to do a video on PowerPoint. Instead of Excel, you can find all my tutorials and videos in my YouTube channel. Uh, today we are going to have a look at functionality called Zoom, that how we can apply the Zoom uh, into, uh, into PowerPoints. Uh, I have a data set up already as I normally do, uh, just to save our time. This is a sample uh, sales report I created uh, in the Excel and just copy pasted over here just to apply this functionality. So if I just simply run this one first, and then uh, this is a sale report, uh, shoes, hats, jackets, gloves, uh, scarves, and the total, and these are uh, the months. And uh, when I go to the next one, it is uh, a separate uh, graphs, uh, line charts for each category shoes hats gloves scarves and then jackets and then it is a comparison for all of uh, uh, the categories so what we are going to do now let me put something in so first of all uh, let go to the zoom and then we can have a slide zoom uh, option over here. So if I press slide zoom, I can select which slide I want to zoom. I want to zoom these five slides and it will provide me a link on the current slide. Slide zoom. To do that, we need to kind of formatting and I just put this uh, table on the top and then these over here one by one like that okay now this is one slide with the uh, which has linked to uh, the all rest of the slides now if i run this report in this uh, presentation. So I can see a table and uh, the links to that slide. So if I click on the jacket first, for example, I want to have a look at this jacket. So when I click jacket, it's zoomed. And uh, when I press a back arrow key from uh, the keyboard, gone back to the main slide. Now I want to have a look at scarf. I can zoom the scarf just by clicking on back arrow key from the keyboard. And if I just want to have a look at this one, it, it's gloves. If I press the up arrow key again, it will back, get back to the slide. Let's see, zoom this one and I have moved to the next slide. So this is how this zoom works. See? To the next slide over here. I have linked all these five slides in here and uh, uh, instead of creating, uh, instead of going uh, each slide uh, one by one, I have linked those uh, slides by the way of zoom uh, into one slide over here. See, so this is a very, very good and very professional presenting. Uh, it looks very, very pro professional as well. So just click and it zoom the back arrow key and you will be back on the main slide. You can use uh, uh, the highlighters and uh, the pointers over here. I have a complete video in my YouTube channel. You can have a look. It is very, very in interesting and uh, informative video as well. Now, this is uh, the one way of using the zoom. Now, let's see another way of using the zoom. So now uh, let's see um, how another way we can use the zoom. We, we just uh, saw uh, how the slide zoom works. Now let's see how the section zoom works. For example, if I want, I'm just going to delete these links which I have just created. And uh, um, many uh, of you uh, might not be aware that you can create sections uh, in, uh, in the, uh, uh, the, the slide section. So just right click in between these two slides or wherever you want to and add new section that's you how you can actually uh, organize your slides uh, 
I, I, I can name it as charts for example and just rename it so I can see charts has six slides and the default section if I just rename this default section as table for example rename so we can see I have a table section and a chart section uh, in my uh, presentation now let's insert if I go to section zoom instead of selecting other options which section I want to zoom so I want to uh, zoom section 2 so choosing section 2 will uh, means it will zoom all these slides one by one instead of just one slide I will insert and put that link here so what we saw last time slide I have to add six uh, links six zooms uh, on uh, the presentation this time we have only one link one link is linked to all the slides if I just run this presentation I can see yes this is sales report and now if I click this uh, shoe this uh, which is uh, actually a link to a section it will take me to the first slide then the second then the third then the fourth fifth sixth and then it will back, get back to the main slide after showing all uh, all the slide by the way of zoom if i do it again here is it you can use uh, the, the arrow keys on the keyboards as well when all the slides are finished it will get back to the main slide and this is called the uh, section zoom and uh, you can obviously enter if I just enter another zoom over here, another section over here. Uh, I call it summary. Okay, so we have removed summary from uh, uh, the charts section. So, how many sections do we have now? We have charts, uh, tables, and summary section. And uh, I have linked uh, this chart section by way of zoom. Uh, in uh, the first section. Let's see how this works now. If I just run this presentation, do a PowerPoint show. Okay, this one. Gloves, scarves, jackets. And it get back to uh, the main slide. And when I press the mouse uh, uh, keyboard arrow key or mouse uh, button, it will move to the next slide so the next section over here so this is a uh, very useful uh, to use the sections and uh, uh, charts you can see uh, to how you can organize and play with uh, different uh, powerpoint features now there is another feature uh, another uh, zoom function that is a summary zoom let's see how that summary zooms works Now let's see this uh, last zoom op option that is summary zoom. How the summary zoom works? Okay, so let me uh, let me remove this link over here and uh, let's see how the summary zoom works. So if I want to add a summary zoom, I will select the summary zoom. I will look here. It will ask you what slides you want to add into the summary zoom. I want to add. Uh, slide two, slide three, slide four, slide five, slide six, for example, slide one, and, and slide seven. So I want these five slides on the summary and leave uh, slide one and slide seven as it is. I said, it has a called the summary section with all links. We can name it as a summary section okay let's run this uh so this is the very first uh, slide over the table now the next section is the summary section which is linked to all um uh, the slides i can click and it will zoom and i can just go each of uh, the sections if i want to 
like this. Wherever you will click, it will zoom that slide for you. Uh, Power has created this summary sheet for you. You can uh, you can create the summary by, uh, by yourself as well by using uh, the slide zoom option that we have seen in our uh, just uh, five minutes here. And then when you finished watching all uh, all uh, the slides, uh, you can come to the next one, which was not in the summary. It will skip these one two three four five slides in between you this is the the key here it automatically miss skip these slides it will not show these slides again because it has been it's in, uh, zoom, uh, zoom automatically and uh, all zoom features whichever uh, uh, slides are linked via zoom into another slide that will not feature in your uh, live PowerPoint presentation. That is what we saw in our uh, this, uh, first section as well. So come directly to the summary table, which was not some summary section. So this is how Zoom works. Do uh, go and play around with this, and it is a very interesting and a very um, professional way of uh, presenting your uh, data. Uh, you can uh, use it in a different way, and uh, we have learned something about the sections which you can use uh, and apply to organize your uh, your uh, PowerPoint presentations. Hope you like the video. I will be there uh, soon uh, with another interesting video. Do sub, uh, please subscribe to my channel as you will see many more interesting PowerPoint, SAP, Excel, and uh, many other topic videos. Uh, thank you for, thanks for watching. Thanks.